harmful effects of diseases. Some of the harmful effects of diseases include low crop yields, production of poor quality products, food poisoning, for example, aflatoxin in grains. Classification and identification of diseases. Crop diseases are classified according to their causal agents. These include fungi, viruses, bacteria, poor weather conditions, and lack of essential elements. Identification of diseases. Diseases are identified by recognizing the symptoms of infection by specific microorganisms or deficiency symptoms. Fungal diseases. These are diseases caused by fungus. Fungus are non-green plants that are incapable of manufacturing their own food due to lack of chlorophyll. There are three main groups of parasitic fungi. Those with all the mycelia and the fruiting bodies on the surface of the host, those with mycelia inside the plant tissue but the fruiting bodies on the surface of the host, and those having the mycelia and the fruiting bodies all inside the host. Common fungal disease Late blight. It is caused by Phytophthora infestans. It infects most of the members of the Solanacea family, especially Irish potatoes and tomatoes. Symptoms of the disease include dry patches or necrotic lesions on leaves and fruits, control measures, spraying bodex mixture and other copper fungicides. Smarts. They are used by Ustilago spp. The species is host-specific to. The species is host-specific. For example, maize smart is caused by Ustilago. Ustilago nuda attacks wheat, and Ustilago citimania attacks sugarcane. Symptoms: Head smart in maize produces large number of black spores, which forms black masses on the maize tassels and cobs. Rusts. Rusts are caused by Puccinia spp. They attack the leaves and stems of most cereal crops. Infected leaves have red or brown pustules. These pustules reduce the photosynthetic area resulting in low yields. Rusts are controlled by spraying copper fungicides. Viral diseases. These are diseases caused by viruses. Viruses are extremely small living organisms which can also be seen under very powerful electronic microscope. All viruses are parasitic and are only able to multiply in living tissues. Symptoms of viral diseases include leaf chlorosis, leaf curling, mosaics, malformations, and resetting. Viral diseases. These are diseases caused by viruses. Viruses are extremely small living organisms which can also be seen under very powerful electronic microscope. Tomato leaf roll. Symptoms of the disease include leaf chlorosis, mosaics and malformations. Maize trick. Symptoms of the disease include leaf chlorosis, mosaics, malformations, and resetting. Groundnut rosette, the most destructive virus disease on groundnut in Kenya. Three causal agents are involved in GRD such as groundnut rosette assister virus, GRAV, groundnut rosette virus, GRV, and a satellite RNA, SAT RNA, transmitted by an aphid, Aphis crassivora. Symptoms of the disease include leaf chlorosis, mosaics, malformations, and rosetting. Both forms of the disease cause plants to be severely stunted with shortened internodes and reduced leaf size, resulting in a bushy appearance of plants. In chlorotic rosette, leaves are usually bright yellow with a few green islands and leaf lamina is curled. In the green rosette, leaves appear dark green 
with light green to dark green mosaic. Bacterial diseases. These are diseases caused by bacteria. Bacteria are microscopic single-celled organisms which reproduce by binary fusion. They vary in shape and size. They are able to live in both dead and living tissues. Not all bacteria are harmful. Symptoms of bacterial diseases include wilting, cancers, and gall formation. Haloblight of beans. Symptoms of this include cancers and gall formation, as shown on the photo. Control of crop diseases. Before any control measure is adopted in disease control, the causal agent must be identified. Some of the control measures include cultural practices, legislative methods, and chemical methods. Chemical control. Chemical measures used in control of diseases include seed dressing, soil fumigation, and spraying. Crop pests. Classification of crop pests. Pests can be classified on the basis of mode of feeding, crops attacked, stage of growth of crops attacked, and habitat. Modes of feeding. A pest's mode of feeding is determined by the type of mouthparts the pest has. The two modes of feeding of insect pests are biting and chewing, piercing and sucking. <laughs> 